All week we are celebrating the start of college in college football and checking in with several of the universities that we're going to be cheering for this fall. Yeah, it's so we can learn more about each team, what their goals are for the season and find out how we can, uh, of course, watch them play. We want to start off the, this week uh, with Western Michigan, the Broncos first year head coach Lance Taylor coach. Uh, are you there? He is coach. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Great to have you with us. Good morning. How you guys doing? Fantastic. Uh, I'm sure you've gotten this question a zillion times in the preseason. What are you expecting this season? How do you like your team? Yeah, really excited and proud of our team right now. We just came out of training camp and got into game preparation mode for St. Francis. Uh, we play this Thursday night at home against a great opponent in St. Francis. And, uh, you know, really like where the team is at right now, how we've improved and taken a step each and every day to grow and get better. And really want to see what they can do on Thursday night on game day against another uh, opponent and tired of hitting on themselves. Very exciting. So, Coach, my father and my brother uh, went to Western Michigan and played football there. My brother was there in no the mid-80s um, when you guys made it to, I think it was the California Bowl. You played on that team. So, I know that you guys are, you're taking over a new team. You finished in 22, just shy of a bowl game. So, how much of that is really driving the momentum as you head into this new season? Yeah, well, I think the focus has really just been on this season. I mean, one of the things that I've talked about is, is having a one snap focus, uh, having a one play focus and, and really not worrying about the last play or next play or last season. And so, you know, I think the big thing for us is, is really just focusing on what we can control um, our current opponent and getting better one day at a time. And, you know, a lot of that sounds like coach speak, but in, in our terms, you know, if, if you focus on the process and what it takes to win, uh, the score will take care of itself. So our guys are excited to go out on Thursday night, uh, really put on display their hard work and what they've done um, throughout training camp. Coach, I know you just had Corey Davis uh, retire from the NFL, one of your more famous alums there. Uh, when you have such a great player who went to your university, do well in the NFL, how much does that kind of boost the program when you reach out, when you're out on the recruiting trail? And I know Detroit's a hotbed of recruiting area for, for your school. When you can say, hey, look, you can come here, you can be one of the best receivers in the country, and yeah, you can go pro from Western Michigan. Yeah, I think that's great for, you know, recruiting for a university. Um, guys obviously see Corey Davis, what he's done in the NFL. He was a great player in college and in the NFL. Um, and we also have Sky Moore. We have Greg Jennings, who just got inducted into my Hall of Fame. You have Taylor Moten, who's a starting tackle for the Carolina Panthers. So there's a plethora of guys that have played at Western uh, who are currently playing in the NFL. And uh, Western has always done a great job in the Detroit area and the state of Michigan. Um, getting great players, uh, helping develop them and, and see their dreams uh, playing at the highest level. Um, I've coached in the NFL at two different spots and we have multiple coaches on our, on our staff who have NFL experience. And so really all of that helps when you talk about recruiting and developing talent to help play at the next level. Yeah. So, like Coach, uh, talk about some of the players that are from Detroit that are on the team that our viewers here in Detroit will be able to, to watch and cheer on. Yeah, so we've got uh, a couple of incoming freshmen that have done a really nice job this spring. Lorenzo Williams Jr. Um, and Corey Webb, both are defensive players, both are defensive backs, even though they play different positions, safety and corner, uh, but both are from the Detroit area and, and have done a great job in, in camp, uh, pushing, you know, for playing time and to be impact players, whether it be on special teams or uh or on defense, you know, I think when you look through the history of Western, we've all, they've always done a really good job of getting players from Detroit. Uh, when I got hired here last year, that was one of the first things that I told our staff was we wanted to make Detroit a focal point in our recruiting. There's so many great players um, in, in that area, so much talent. Um, and it's so close to our campus, we really want to make that a focus point moving forward. And in our first class, we were able to sign two guys who've come in and done a really nice job and want to continue that pipeline. Well, hopefully you get off to a great start with the home opener coming up against St. Francis. Coach Lance Taylor, we appreciate your time this morning and good luck this season to, uh, to the Broncos. Thanks, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate your time. You. Thank you. I didn't know he was talking to a legacy over here. <laughs> Look at this. My dad and brother. I think it was yeah. like 1989 when my brother played in the California Bowl. It was a big deal for our family and like going and seeing. And so, you know, that is the ultimate, especially when you're playing in yeah. college to be able to experience that. So, yeah, Ron Gillum Jr. is my brother's name and Ron Gillum Sr. Go my look it up. Name. Yes. Sneaky 